Okay, let's get started. Uh, as you're aware, we just recently announced the release of FR2 of Res1 Service Store. Uh, a lot of new functionality included in this um, and a lot of things that we can actually now leverage uh, for our security products. So as you know, a lot of our customers utilize Res for uh, application security, application uh, whitelisting and blacklisting, uh, website control, files and folder management, all sorts of security stuff. Probably our biggest use case is application whitelisting. Now, one of the problems that uh, our customers are having with application whitelisting is you know, we provide them all these tools to set up the initial whitelist, and we provide them the tools to integrate with SCCM and BigFix and, and maintain that whitelist. But inevitably, there's applications out there that are critical for business use. And the process to getting those things added to the application whitelisting um, is very time consuming. So what we typically see is when an application needs to be added to the whitelist, the user will contact the help desk. The help desk will uh, ask them a few questions, um, jot down in a ticket the justification or the need for this application, uh, what the application name is. Then they'll forward that information over to the security group. The security group will pick up the phone and they'll call the end user and say, well, why do you need this? And the end user will say, well, I just told your help desk all this information. Um, and the security guy will say, well, the help desk never tells me anything, so why do you need the application? And they go through the whole process, and then the security guy says, well, I need to analyze it. Send me the file, and I'll run some scans against it. So you try to send the application to them, and of course, it's blocked by the firewalls and by your Exchange server. Uh, so then you come up with some external means of getting the information there. That process literally takes a minimum of days, if not weeks. Uh, and meanwhile, your end user does not have access to the critical application they need make matters even worse, let's say the RSA conference is going on and your security, security group is out in San Francisco at the conference. They're not even going to be there to approve that application or run the scans against it, so you may be talking another week uh, out for this. So that's the scenario we're going to utilize for this demonstration. On the left-hand side, we have a doctor's computer. On the right-hand side, we actually have the mobile phone of one of the guys from the security team. So I am Dr. Theodore Bart and I have a new application that I need uh, for saving lives. It's called seriousapp.exe, and if I try to execute it, of course it's not authorized because it's not part of my whitelist. But instead of just blocking it, we do communicate with the users, we do let them know what's going on, uh, and we give them an opportunity now to uh, help themselves. So let's go to the service store. All right, so we can see we have an application approval request, uh, the ability to add something to the whitelist. All right, first thing we want to do is we want to upload that file, the, the application in question, we want to upload that so that we can do some scans and analyze the data. Justification. Application. Don't make me angry. You would not like me. All right, so provider justification. Uh, we want to go ahead and upload that. All right, cool. So what have we done so far? Well, if we go back to that process of, uh, of actually getting something added to the whitelist the old-fashioned way, uh, we have bypassed that process of getting the file to the security guy. We've bypassed the process of the security guy wanting to know why you need access to this application and, and getting it to him uh, in a way that's accessible and easy for him to understand. Um, we have provi provided the ability to start running automated security scans against it. Uh, we've communicated back with the end user that we've delivered your request and it's currently being analyzed. So all of this stuff that used to take, uh, we're probably into at least one day now, uh, if not multiple days, has just happened in a matter of 30 seconds. So remember when I said that, uh, you know, unfortunately the security guys are out at the RSA conference and no one's in the office to approve your request? Well, again, this is the uh, Android device of one of the security guys. All right. So he's sitting in the RSA conference and someone's talking about hacking an ATM or whatever they do out there at RSA. Um, 
and he gets this notification on his phone. Theodore Bart requested access to SiriusApp.exe. Uh, he provided the following justification. I really need this application. Don't make me angry. You would not like me when I'm angry. Um, all right, so we got the justification there. Now, instead of that security guy having to go download that application, potentially exposing uh, malware to other devices um, and running automated scans against it, why don't we just do that ourselves? So as soon as that file was uploaded, it was then downloaded to a quarantine machine, a machine that doesn't have access to the rest of the network, and we literally ran security scans against it. And based on the uh, exit codes of those security scans, we were able to change this variable to safe. Now, if the security scans failed, then this would say unsafe. So we've done all of the work that the security group typically would do. Now, if that's not enough, they have the ability to go out and download it themselves. So they can download it to uh, one of their sandbox environments, run additional tests if they want to, and go directly from there. So let's go back to our service store. All right, uh, and if that's not even enough, or you need more additional information from Theodore, you can go ahead and reach out to them uh, at their phone number, which we've listed as well. So I'm confident. Uh, I certainly don't want to make Theodore angry, so I'm going to go ahead and approve this application. So that entire process that we discussed before, the old-fashioned way that took days, if not weeks, we've just done in about a minute and 30 seconds. Not a single help desk call. Um, not a single uh, ticket was opened. Everything was done all in an automated fashion while still maintaining security uh, in the environment. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Awesome. The application has been approved, and we're going to go ahead and refresh your desktop. So let's wait a few seconds while this refreshes. Okay, so our refresh has finished, and let's go take a look at what we have. All right, let's try to launch that application again. And there we go. We're able to launch the application. And it looks like Theodore got us. That was not a critical application needed for business purposes, but it's a picture of his cat. Um, but regardless, you kind of get the point here of how we've taken a process uh, that takes days and weeks of impacting the end user's productivity uh, and turned it into a matter of minutes. Um, so, hope you guys like the presentation. If you have any questions or anything, please do not hesitate to ask or reach out to us. Love to hear from you. Thank you.